All right, folks, Todd and Mike from Snyder's Hives and Honey. We're back in Indian Atlantic, Florida. We're inside of a home here that we uh, showed you the other day where they were going in the outside. Um, it's uh, getting ready to rain and uh, we're working this one from the inside. And uh, I'll show you where they're at. Uh, the bees, I don't know if it's showing up there on the camera, but you can kind of see where I got some duct tape there and see my red dots that I'm moving on the ceiling there. This is the area where the bees are showing the heat registration on the ceiling. Um, so we're, uh, I stuck the hole, put a hole in the ceiling there, stuck my camera up in there, and I'll show you my FLIR here. I'll put it up in front of there. So you can see that red blob on my camera, on the FLIR gun. That, uh, that's where they are. So we're going to attack that. That's the corner right there. It's showing a little bit of registration down on the wall but that could be a false reading. Um, also, I'm gonna back up a little bit. And there is a stairwell here. So we're not sure if they're in this wall up in this area here too. I don't know if you can see where I'm shining my light, but uh, that's an outside wall. That's where they're coming in. So they may be in this area as well. So, but we're gonna first is what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack this area over here where the ceiling is. We're gonna open that up, see what we have. Of course, uh, we don't want the bees to be flying around inside this entire home. So we're gonna build a uh, plastic wall up right here, seal that down to there, come off of there, this area right over here. You can see my line, red dots there. I'm gonna put some plastic down that wall, all the way down across the floor and uh, make like a little plastic room there. Uh, that'll help contain the bees that are in there and then we can vacuum those up. So we'll keep you posted as what's going on. As always, be happy. Okay, folks, we're getting ready to start this extraction. Uh, what we've done is we've made uh, a wall of plastic and uh, basically uh, we still have an opening in here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna suit up. We've got all our tools, equipment set up inside there. We got our BVAC outside here. Uh, we'll run the line underneath the plastic, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape that down to the floor Close up this opening here so we'll have a small room that we'll be working in so that the bees don't um, get out inside this entire room in here. And uh, we'll cut that open and start the extraction. So this is how we do this so that we can kind of contain the bees in a smaller area. Because uh, once we open that up, uh, there's no doubt there's going to be bees coming out and uh, flying around. So uh, this way here we have them in a smaller area that we can contain them. So we'll take some more videos as we go along and I uh, hope you enjoy this. Okay folks, we got this kind of cut out here. We're getting ready to open this up and expose this. And uh, we'll start vacuuming up these bees as soon as we drop this piece of drywall down. plywood over there. Okay. So Alright, so we're vacuuming up these girls. Um, these uh, this colony does go up in there about three feet up. It's not gonna be an easy one because we got uh, hot and cold uh, AC lines. We got uh, a drain line some wires. These girls are built all around it. It does stop right here though. Um, tell how much further in it goes. Let me see here. Well, it does go back a little bit that way, but not much. So it's pretty much contained right here. But these girls have been here a long time. You can see the color of that comb. It's dark. So, uh, not going to be a fun extraction, but we'll get it out of here. All right, folks, we'll uh, take some video here in a minute after I assess this and see what we're going to get. Now we're going to attack it here. All right, hang on to that, Mike. You got it? Okay. 
okay, it's still going. I gotta turn it off. All right, so we got this opened up. This is all honey right in this area here. And as I scan down, scroll down a little bit, you can see this is some old comb back in here. Uh, there is quite a few bees in here, but I tell you, these girls are really calm. I've got my gloves off, I've got my veil off, and I'm just gonna start cutting this comb out of here and vacuuming these girls up. So uh, we'll keep you updated as we go along here. So as always, we're looking for that queen. So uh, I got it released from the cables, the, the power line, and it uh, looks like uh, the refrigeration lines. So uh, we'll keep taking more videos as we go along. Again, we're still in, in the Atlantic. All right, folks, we've been removing honey. And if you want to see some pretty honey, look at this comb. That is solid honey all the way across. Thick. That is thick honey. This is some of the be most beautiful honey. These bees have been in here for a while. They've done a beautiful job making this honey. And we're cutting it out. And then we're working our way back over here to where the brood is. And uh, we're vacuuming bees up as we go along. But I tell you what, we're getting a good 10 gallons of honey out of this hive of uh, in a comb. Beautiful stuff. So uh, you can uh, always watch our videos here. We're going to keep videoing all as we go along here. But uh, these bees are very calm as well. I do not have gloves on. I do not have my veil on. And uh, I'm just able to reach up in there and get what we want. The other thing I have found is I've killed one already is a black widow and I've seen three others up in there. Um, so I'm being very cautious removing this hive. Yes, unfortunately, Florida, those are things we have to deal with. Uh, but there are three more up in there behind, back this way. Um, I'm flipping it over, sorry folks, but that's where they are. Uh, so I'm just being cautious. All right, we'll keep videotaping here. All right, folks, we've been vacuuming bees now for about an hour. We finally got past the honey. We're getting to some of the brood. There's a little bit of honey still on this one here, but uh, some cat brood there. I just took down a, a uh, frame of uh, comb that had a lot of brood in it. So we're getting towards the back of the, or actually it's the entrance to what I'm, would be the front of the hot colony or hive. We started at the back and we're working towards the entrance. Uh, but uh, hopefully we'll find the queen here pretty soon. Maybe we can get her caged up and uh, go a little bit quicker here so uh, but just wanted to see what's going on here got a lot of comb yet to get out of here this is what we've gotten out so far you can see quite a bit a lot of honey a lot of dark honey in here so uh, we'll keep videotaping as we go along so uh, we've got all the comb out of there Mike has been finishing vacuuming up there but uh, we've noticed that some of the bees have gone to the left and to the right on those wooden I-beams there the floor joist beams so we shot some BB gone up through the, one of these little holes here, trying to force them out. We're hoping that they don't have comb on the other side, but I think we're gonna open up the ceiling to the right here a little bit and just make sure that they're not in there. And uh, also on the left side there, we're just hoping that that's where they are just kind of ran to when we started opening up. Uh, we did not see the queen, doesn't mean we vacuum, didn't vacuum her up, but you know, she may have ran on one of those sides too, so. Um, they're not happy right now because we did spray that BB going in there. Uh, but you can see we got it all cleaned out. We got to just scrape the rest of that little bit of honey off the floor up there. It's for the second floor of this uh, townhouse. So a little difficult cutting around all those AC lines and everything. Um, but uh, we'll get the rest of these bees vacuumed up and get them out of here. We've got quite a bit of work yet to do to get this completed up and wrapped up but uh, we'll, we'll follow up here when we're totally done all right folks all right folks um, got this one just about wrapped up we're cleaning up got all the bees in the bee vac down here Mike he's right there he's a uh, little bit covered in honey today <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of honey in here so there are maybe a half a dozen bees in here flying around 
But what we did was uh, we cleaned everything out of that opening, sprayed some honeybee banded up in there and uh, got up, I would say 99% of the bees out of there. There's still maybe 50 bees up in there flying around, but we put plastic up over top of that opening until the uh, contractor can get back here and put some drywall back up in there and seal that back up. But in the meantime, what's going to happen is, unfortunately, those few bees that are in there will die. Um, they'll uh, die of lack of water, lack of food. Um, so uh, it won't take long. In 24 hours or so, they will, they will die off behind that plastic because they can't get out. I've sealed the entrance to the uh, wall where they were coming in and out. That's all sealed up. And then, uh, of course, there's one lonely bee flying around up there. I don't know if you can see them by the light there. They're attracted to the light. Um, but anyhow, this wraps it up for this extraction from uh, Snyder's Hives and Honey. I appreciate Mike's help today. We uh, always work well together. And uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like our channel, please like and subscribe on YouTube and like and follow us on Facebook. And as always, be happy.